Hey guys and welcome to a new video here on Photoshop, my name is Joseph. In today's video, I'm taking you behind the scenes of a studio shoot that I did with Agolaye and I'm going to run through everything that I did from the setup that I made to lighting and then composition. Initially when I wanted to shoot her, I wanted to shoot her against my canvas backdrop but when I started, it was looking really plain, simple and boring so I wanted to find out ways that I could make the shot a little bit more interesting. So I started off by incorporating things that I had in the house like the stool, plants and then a the comforter that is in my sofa. So I initially put the plants on the left hand side of the frame, stacked the two stools and then placed the comforter to cover the stools because I didn't really like the way they were looking and the comforter added a little bit more interest. The next thing I'm going to talk about is my lighting setup. So I'm using two lights for this shoot. There's a rim light which is going to cut her out of the background because it's dark and I have my main light which is a medium sized parabolic which has a white inner and I have the diffusion cloth on it just to make it large and soft. I'm using my Canon EOS R and my Sigma 85 1.4 R lens for the shoot and that's because I want to shoot at 1.4 which is going to allow me to add a little bit more of a soft focus or blur background in this shot which is also going to add another level of interest. When I started shooting, I wanted to make sure that my ambient light, which is the lights in the house, were not affecting the shot. So I started off by first of all maintaining my aperture at 1.4 which is really really bright and allowing a lot of light coming and I dropped my ISO to 50 and increased my shutter speed to 1 over 1000 and this is what I got so it's pretty dark I don't have a lot of the ambient light influencing the shot but at the same time shooting at 1 over 1000 means that I have to shoot in high speed sync so the first image that I got using these settings were like this it was really moody it had a lot of shadows and contrast in the image which was really good you can see i have the parabolic directly at the model and that light was just around this area illuminating hair and a little bit of the background but then to the right of hair or your left when you're looking at the image you can see goes completely dark this was really interesting and i liked it in the beginning but as i was taking a few frames i felt it was just too contrasty and too dark for my liking so even with the closer shots, you can see that even though she pops off the background, um, it's still a little bit too contrasty, especially the kind of shadow on her right, if you're looking at it from where she's standing. So resetting the lighting, I decided to just take a shot using my ambient lighting. So you see that the settings are f1.4 still, and I dropped my shutter speed all the way to 1 over 100, and I increased my ISO from 50 to... 320 and this is the exposure that it gave me it kind of was in the direction I was going for now But the only thing is I wanted to use my strobes because at this point I had turned off my flash and it wasn't firing So this is just an ambient light the next thing I did was just to turn on my My strobe and it was in the same direction as before and that is why it's overexposed So now I needed to feather the light especially because I was shooting at 1 over 128 on the Godox 8600 BM and so it was really really strong now I started turning the light away from the model and you can see already it's doing a great job by evenly lighting the setup but I just wanted to add a little bit more mood to the shot and so I ended up turning the light away from the model totally and it was almost facing me and that is what gave me this next shot. What I also did was to change my ISO to 1 over 125 and increase my shutter speed from 100 to 1 over 160 and this gave him the perfect mood that I was looking for and I started shooting at this point. Now I was doing a lot of full body shots so she was playing with some of the props like putting her hand on the stack of stools covered by the um, comforter and it was really giving me what I wanted. The mood was right there, the rim lights was exactly where I wanted it to be including the main light but I tried to shoot different angles so doing a full body I felt it wasn't as interesting as it would have if I got closer. So the next thing I did was to move closer to the subject and frame her in such a way that a little bit of the plants will be showing through and also a little bit of the stack of stools will be showing through so it's not like everything that I've put in the frame is going to be showing and I feel this adds a little bit more interest. Now the next thing I also wanted to do was aside taking several frames was to just make sure that I have a foreground element and so you see that in the next image that I'm going to click on you see that I put the plant in front of her 
and it added a new dimension to the entire set of images that I've been creating and it's something that I stuck with because I liked it at this point but I still wanted to make it a little bit more interesting so instead of keeping the plants really close to here so that it's a little bit in focus I brought it closer to the camera and that blurred it out a lot especially because I was shooting at 1.4 and that made the image look really really interesting so we have this foreground element we have the subject and then we have a background which is made up of this texture um, canvas backdrop that we have and this is the final setup that I use still my settings are f1.4 1 over 160 ISO 125 and this pretty much concludes the setup and lighting that I use for this particular shoot Another bottle of this wine, I'll be up in your space Love and affection, ain't got nothing on me No, that's not what I need Maybe on another day I'd encourage you to make me stay But baby, I'm just trying to numb my brain And wrap my head around this whole thing When you're kissing my neck and grabbing my leg Pushing me backwards into your bed Thank you guys very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes and i hope you learned something new if you did leave a like leave a comment share this video if you're benefiting if you haven't subscribed and you're new thanks for taking the time to watch this video i hope you enjoyed it you can click the bell icon to be notified anytime i post those and i'll see you guys in the next one peace